Hey everybody, it's VFX Cam here today, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to position a muzzle flash or any type of object. Just reposition it so that it's, it can be in, say, two positions at once. Uh, I'll show you, like, right now, you just add in your muzzle flash and your thing. I have one from uh, Action Essentials 2, and uh, it's an automatic, so it's going to have multiple. But anyway, let me show you what I'm talking about. So you have it positioned right here, and, uh, oh, by the way, when uh, the muzzle flash, I do not have any of the advanced things that I had in my advanced tutorial. I just try and do this quickly. There's going to be an annotation and you can click that. I just basically put this one to add and that's all I did. You're going to want to do more and click that annotation and get that muzzle flash. Anyway, let's start off. So what you do is you'll see, yeah I have it right here, but if I move over it's it's a different area, but if you try and move it while it's right here your first muzzle flash flare is going to be in that spot that the other one is. And you don't want that. You want to have it in two different positions. Basically, it's moving the video in kind of a manual track. Basically, what you want to do is you want to click on that your muzzle flare and type in POS, and that's basically all you need, unless you have something else. But type in position, and then click on this little keyframe right here, this little stopwatch, and move forward in your video to where maybe the next muzzle flare comes, and just place that right over the gun and you'll see that it creates this little line and you see move it around and it'll make bigger but anyway just basically put that back and as you'll see now is that whenever I go back to my first one it's in the same spot in my old spot right here and uh, you see right here that's just basically means the muzzle fire is going to follow as well as the smoke it's going to follow all the way until that next one and if you want to do that again just bring it over And that's basically it. That now you'll see it's all the way over here, and when I go to my first one, it's in my original position. And then that's basically how you do your manual tracking. I'm just going to do a quick render right here. And what you can do one pretty quickly is just turn your video quality to quarter right here. And, uh, <clears throat> sorry, it'll just reduce the quality and you'll get a quicker render. And you'll see it follows it all the way down. And uh, that's how you basically do a manual tracking. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.